Hi, I'm Tyler. Happy day after Thanksgiving. And welcome to my very first Christmas episode of the year. Each week during the Christmas season, I'm going to take five Christian Christmas releases. And after I'm going to listen to them all week, I'm going to come back here and review them. Share what I think about them. So without further ado, let's get to this week's first Christmas release. Switchfoot's new album. This is our Christmas album. So before I dive into my thoughts on Switchfoot's new Christmas album, This is our Christmas album, let me just say this came across as a request from Jake. Thanks Jake for requesting this album from Switchfoot along with Cimarelli's album, which I'm going to get to a little bit later. Let's talk about Switchfoot first. So, pretty good Christmas album here. Stylistically, quite a bit of it, I would say, is alternative ballads or alternative rock ballads. We also, though, have some upbeat alternative pop rock tracks. And also, Scrappy Little Christmas Tree. And... New Year's Day, I would say, are the two uh, two all-out alternative alternative rockers on this album that showcase a little bit of Switchfoot's heavier side. We also have some blues elements here, and as for the lyrics here, like the honesty of the lyrics, and also the hope that it the lyrics point to. As for the lyrics here, John Foreman talks about how after a rough year of hateful division in the world made him lose his innocence, the traditions of Christmas that he feels are fake and shallow failed to excite him. But Jesus brings John back to the real Christmas where he came in his birth to be with us. To bring saving peace between us sinners and God. And then John lets go of his defenses. Hopes for change next year. And learns to enjoy Christmas with the ones he loves. Including the very traditions that he struggled to celebrate beforehand. Including the ones of where he lives in California. Up next... Phil Wickham's new single featuring Ann Wilson, Behold. Cochran and Company's version of This Christmas. Let's dive into it. So, pretty good so, pretty good rendition of This Christmas here. Stylistically, definitely keeps in the jazz pop rock feel that this song is normally done in. And as for lyrics here, pretty good lyrics here too. Michael Cochran talks about how he's going to get to know his beautiful wife he loves better as they enjoy celebrating this special Christmas together. Up next, Ann Wilson's new EP, The Manger. So before, before I dive into my thoughts on Ann Wilson's new EP, The Manger, let me just say this came across as a request from... Caleb, who is a cousin of a few of my friends... And Caleb requested that I review Aaron Wilson when I saw him at church this past weekend. Let's dive into it. So, pretty. Thanks, Caleb, by the way, for requesting this EP. Let's dive into this EP now. So, pretty good EP here. Stylistically, definitely has a contemporary country feel with some degree of worship elements. Here... And the closing track, Kentucky Fried Christmas, is an all-out bluegrass track here. It's definitely fun and energetic. And as for the lyrics here, pretty good lyrics here. Love the lyrics here, actually. So much good lyrics here. And as for the lyrics here, Ann Wilson talks about how when you feel hopeless at Christmas in a divided world, you're welcome to bring your broken heart to believe in Jesus who in his unconditional love left heaven to be with us lost sinners, to sacrifice his life on the cross, to save us free from sin, to live a new life of proclaiming him, and one day live forever in heaven. Up next, our last release for today, Cimarelli's new album, 
Christmas carols. Alright, Jake, thanks for requesting Cimarelli's new album, Christmas Carols. Let's dive into it. So, pretty good album here, stylistically. Most of it is a cappella here, and I would say the vocals kind of have a mixture of pop and classical influences. The only songs that are not a cappella is What Child Is This, which the instrumentation there kind of gives it a contemporary pop worship ballad feel. And Silent Night, while mostly a cappella, does have a little bit of piano in there as well. Pretty good vocals here on this album. And as for the lyrics here, pretty good lyrics here too. Cimarelli exhorts us to joyfully praise Jesus through song during Christmas for how he and his love came from heaven as a child to sacrificially save us from sin into a new life where we live forever at peace with God and for how one day he will reign. Alrighty, Jake, I'll get to your utter request of Cimarelli eventually, but before I do, I'm just going to take a little aside here to talk about a few other releases. Let's start off with Phil Wickham's new single featuring Ann Wilson, Behold. Let's dive into it. So, pretty good song here, stylistically. It's a contemporary worship song. And both Phil Wickham and Ann Wilson do a pretty good job on their parts on this song here. And as for the lyrics here, love the lyrics here. The lyrics are so good, I couldn't get it all in in my summary. But, here we go. As for the lyrics here, they talk about how we adore the Lord Jesus Christ. For he is worthy, for how through him, God who created us in his incomparable love, has finally become one of us to save us through his death and resurrection. Up next, Cochrane and Company's new single, This Christmas. Well, that's it for this week. Come back next week for five more Christian Christmas releases. Actually, I'll be doing a Cyber Monday bonus video as well featuring Paul Hernandez's single, The Greatest Gift, that my friend Erica texted me around the time that she texted me the Tyson James and William Cata songs that ended up getting reviewed earlier this year as well. If you like what's on this video, please subscribe and put out videos every Friday at 9.30 on Pacific Time. Also, do you have any thoughts on today's releases or what I'm this week? If you have any thoughts on today's releases or what I may have on the releases in this video or what I may have said about them, let me know down in the comments below. Also in the comments, you can let me know if there's any awesome releases, any awesome Christian Christmas releases that came out this year that you want to see in next week's video. Also, you can let me know if there's any awesome non-Christmas Christian releases that came out either today or last week. That you want to see in a video I'm going to do after Christmas. Also check out the playlist section for my Music Month 3 playlist available here on YouTube and also on Spotify. And this month's edition of the playlist, which is still up through Wednesday, features songs from artists like Firehouse, Slavder, Winger, Cinderella, White Lion, and others. So you can go and check that out through Wednesday. And then this Thursday I drop the December edition of the playlist featuring my most streamed Christmas songs from last year. So be on the lookout for that. Well, go now. Merry Christmas. See ya on Monday. Bye.